Hi folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans. And if you'd like more cartoon news and shenanigans, I'd ask you to please subscribe to my channel. In fact, do it right now so you don't forget about it later. And I thank you very much for that, guys. Today, pretty awesome news. The Bob's Burgers trailer just dropped. I want to thank one of my subscribers named Anthony who told me about this in my Discord because I, I totally missed this. But thank you very much, Anthony. Number five on trending. So this is uh, pretty big here. We got 1.25 million views in just one day. It's actually January 11th when I'm recording this because I didn't know about it. Uh, and 10K likes, that's uh, that's a little bit unusual. Uh, only 10,000 likes for a million? Wow. wow. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. But uh, we're here on the 20th Century Studio official YouTube channel. I do want to watch here. What do we got? Uh, so watch the new trailer for Hashtag's Bob's Burgers movie only in theaters. May 27th. My birthday's May 11th. So, you know, this is right right around the corner from my uh, my birthday. Unfortunately, I'm actually not vaccinated. So I here in Canada, you can't go watch the movies unless you're vaccinated. So uh, I guess uh, I'm going to have to find other ways to eventually watch this thing, if you know what I'm saying. But uh, <laughs> uh, the Bob's Burgers movie is an animated big screen musical comedy mystery adventure. Oh, God. Um, wow. That's a lot to take in there. So it's a, it's a big screen musical. It's a musical. So I'm, uh, they're going to break in a song. I'm assuming here, uh, comedy. Yeah. Okay. Bob's burgers literally is a comedy, uh, mystery. See, now that's where it takes an interesting, it's a mystery adventure. Okay. Uh, so are they going to pull the Simpsons movie where they do the whole thing, uh, towards the very end of the Simpsons movie, you know? Uh, Bart and Homer are like, if you kill us, you'll never find out what's in the treasure or where the treasure is or something like that, right? You guys remember that from the Simpsons movie where Bart's like something, he says something like that, right? He's like, you'll never find out what the treasure is. And he's like, I'm not stupid. There is no treasure. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if they're going to pull some stunt like that again. <laughs> that was pretty funny though. It was very memorable, but, um, yeah, I, I'm interested. What's this mystery all about? Let's see here. So based on the long running Emmy winning series, they really want you to know they were an Emmy winning series. Of course, the story begins when a ruptured water main creates an enormous sinkhole right in front of Bob's Burgers, blocking the entrance indefinitely and ruining the Belcher's plans for a successful summer. Okay. So they were getting all ready for summer. This is the plot. They're getting all ready for summer. Then like some kind of ruptured water main makes it so they can't do business. So let's see here. While Bob and Linda struggle to keep the business afloat, the kids try to solve a mystery that could save their family's restaurant. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> what could the mystery be, though? I guess we got to watch the trailer and find out. As the dangers mount, these underdogs help each other find hope and fight to get back behind the counter where they belong. Okay. So let's take a look. So I, I'm actually curious. I love a good mystery. You guys know me. I love a good mystery. Let's find out. So I do want to uh, flip this around so we don't get copyright claimed. I'm going to put my little hamster mascot up there. So again, we don't want to get any copyright claims or strikes. So there we go. Are you hungry for something good? <laughs> it's like a commercial for, uh, you know, Harvey's or McDonald's. Okay, I heard Linda. <laughs> okay. I think I heard Gene. Fresh hot burgers, sexy burgers. Lynn. Why? It's summer and Yeah, the animation, you know what? I, I guess the the quality of Bob's Burgers animation is literally so good that the movie quality, like when you watch the Simpsons movie, you're like, whoa, that's some pretty solid quality. Uh back in like what was it, 2008, 2009, uh, when the Simpsons movie came out. You could definitely tell that there was a noticeable uptake in quality. I'm looking at this footage right now. I'm, I'm not seeing like that major of a jump in quality here, but you know, it is there. It is noticeable. You could definitely tell. But um, again, not that big of a jump in quality, which is just a testament to that. You know, Bob's Burgers just has a pretty solid animation style. There you go. Sex sells, baby. Huh. Big things are coming for Summer Tina. Summer Tina. Oh boy. What did this say? Uh, let's flip this around. What is this? this Memorial Day? Oh, is that a, is that an American holiday? Memorial Day here in Canada? We have something called Victoria Day where we kind of celebrate the queen and 
Queen Victoria. I think she died in a car accident, right? Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's why we don't. Uh, is that why we celebrate? I, I don't even know my own goddamn Canadian. Ho okay, hold on. Let me look this up. Jesus Christ. Uh, why does Canada celebrate Memorial Day? Or No, no. <laughs> Victor Victoria Day. Yeah, here we go. Uh, the British Queen was born. Okay. Uh, and it was declared a Canadian holiday by the government in 1845. Oh, I thought this was for like Queen. Wait, who was the Queen? Oh, Princess Diana. That was the one who died in the car crash. My bad. That was my bad guy. Look, you. I can't keep track of all these royal families. Come on. <laughs> Uh, so wow, this is a holiday that came out in 1845. Well, uh, I don't think there's any Canadian citizens who are alive, uh, to talk about when that first came out. Yeah. I'm pretty sure like all the Canadians born in the 1800s are dead, but, uh, you know, we still celebrate, you know, we, we can't, we can't t say exactly why we celebrate it, but there you go. Uh, Victoria day. So there you go. It's, uh, it's all about the queen go bananas. Uh, anyways, back to the freaking trailer. <laughs> So there you go. You learned a little Canadian history. Uh, we celebrate the Queen because, uh, yeah, 1845. Go nuts. Uh, so here it is. Let's head back. Play. Big things are coming for Summertina. Summertina. Okay. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. I see uh, this is Jimmy Jr., right? Uh, that's his name, I think. Uh, as you guys know, I actually did a video talking about how... Um, the guy who does Jimmy Pesto, I, I can't, the name escapes me right now. Jimmy Pesto's dad is being investigated because of the, the you know, January 6th riot in America. So we don't know if Jimmy Pesto is going to be in this movie. We don't know, did they replace his voice actor? Is he even in the movie? He might not even need to be in the movie. But um, yeah, I, I'd be, you know, I kind of want Jimmy Pesto to be in the movie. I got to be honest. Uh, and this movie was delayed. So if Jimmy's voice, you know, if Jimmy, oh my God, what is the guy's name? Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Pesto voice actor. So he wasn't fired. He's just on the Jay Johnston, right? So Jay Johnston, uh, he might have recorded the lines before because this movie was de delayed from 2020, which was before any of that stuff on January 6th happened. So theoretically he could have voice lines in the movies that in the movie that were uh, pre-recorded before this. So I'm going to be interested, you know, D will Disney, I, this is Disney. We're talking about very woke company. I would not be surprised if, if he had voice lines, maybe they just cut them out and cut out his entire character. I wouldn't be surprised. He is currently on a suspension they easily would have had time to rewrite the movie and get his character out of the movie. Um, it's a shame too. Jimmy Pesto is one of the best characters on Bob's Burgers. Uh, absolutely. So uh, yeah, Jimmy, this character's name is Jimmy Jr. I, I, I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, there you go. So we got Tina and him riding horses in like the old West. I don't even know what's going on in this movie. Okay. I think this the song in the background is called O Fortuana or something. Okay. This doesn't tell us anything. Just the gas is great. Thank you. Like this. Okay, so there's the broken water main. Okay, aliens. Okay. What the hell? Bob's Burgers movie. I'm the marketing department. I took Gene's burger suit, let out the crotch a little bit, and bam. A burger with a bikini on it? Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I get it. No questions from this guy. May 27. So I, I kind of want to, um, I kind of want to go through some of those again. Let, let's just, uh, let's flip this around back to the regular. Let's turn that off. Let's just kind of like scream through here. So what is going on? So we had the scene where they were riding horses. Very interesting. Um, Looks like Gene is making a battery here. I see like there's like a, it looks like a battery with like a fork on it. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, very interesting. Let's see. What does this sign say? Special five ninety five cheese at 50 cents fries for $2. All 
Oh, this is America. I was wondering why everything was so cheap. <laughs> yeah, the Canadian dollar is always like 30 cents cheaper than the uh, the American one. So uh, I love how they have beer on here right under the soft drink. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. Four dollars. Is that four dollars for a beer? Yeah. Side salad for two fifty. Yeah, these prices in ca if you went to like any restaurant in Canada, they'd literally be like double all, all of the things here. <laughs> like, there's no way you're paying two bucks for fries, you know. Uh, especially at a restaurant, May maybe at McDonald's you could get like a medium fry for like two bucks. But like, if you go into a restaurant order a fry, you're looking at like four, five, six plus. So yeah. And a major, oh, sorry, I I, uh, <laughs> I don't want to show the footage here. Major hits. Okay, so they're at, is this a carnival? I, I've been to carnivals in my hometown where they have the fishing rod and they uh, you pluck up like one of the ducks and it has like a number under it and you win. You win a prize based on the number. Uh, interesting stuff. I don't, rec see, I've only seen the first three seasons of Bob's Burgers. I don't really recognize these characters. These might be all new characters. It did say that there is a mystery in this movie. So this could be like the kids going out and exploring and they see this town or whatever. And yeah, I don't know. I I'm just trying to spitball here what we could be looking at. Um, the big screen. So we got Louise. Yeah, so this is where the the broken water pipe probably is. That, you know, it, it mentioned in the description. Um it did also mention that it was a musical, a musical comedy. So here's the music part. So I guess uh, they go on tour. <laughs> they just randomly go on tour. Okay, uh, sure. Why not? Then we have this. This is a hard scene to decipher. Is this like an alien ship? I don't, I don't know. Is the mystery like they, f they have to figure out like an alien and send them home? Is this just E.T.? Are they just sending a freaking alien home? Uh, okay, so there we go. There's the guy that they, I, I don't remember all the names of the characters, but this is the guy that they pay rent to, right? Uh, I don't recognize this character in the, uh, in the Navy suit though. The other character is the guy they pay rent, the rent landlord. Uh, okay. This is a police officer. Again, I don't remember like all the characters. Very interesting here. So this is again, uh, this is, it says do not enter here. I think this is the water main, right? It did say again, the, the broken water main ruins their, uh, their, yeah, ruptured water main creates an enormous sinkhole right in front of the Bob's Burgers. Okay. So that's that. They're probably just looking at that, assessing the damage. What could be going on here? I don't know. <laughs> this looks like somebody did like a drug trip. Maybe I'm right though. Maybe, maybe this is literally an ET movie where they just try and get aliens home. Cause these are aliens, right? Like what, why else would these be here? It's either a drug trip. Somebody took some berries. You guys ever see the scene from the good dinosaur where it's like the only memorable scene from that movie where I think they eat some like wild berries and they have like an acid trip. Uh, this feels like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it's either going to be like, maybe they have to get aliens back home. I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Or it's a drug trip. Yeah. Um, then they are, okay, Bob and Linda are probably trying to just keep the business open, like it said in the description. I don't know. This might be a character just for the movie. Not really sure who this is. Uh, and that's that. Bob's Burgers, the movie. And there we see Linda in Jean's burger suit, the iconic burger suit. And that's it. Uh, there's Teddy, too. I, I guess I forgot to mention. Yeah, Teddy's in this thing. Who knew? <laughs> uh, only in theaters. PG-13. Uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, not bad. Um I, I mean, it looks, it looks like a generic episode. I, I don't want to be mean here. Like this, I, I think this could be good. Like just like the Simpsons movie ended up being like really memorable. I think this could be memorable, but from what I've seen from this trailer, it kind of just seems kind of generic, you know, like this could just be an episode. You know what I mean? Um, I guess you could say that about the Simpsons too. It's like, that could just be an episode, but like. I don't know about this one. <laughs> I, I think the plot could have been something more exciting than a, a freaking ruptured water main. And I guess maybe there is aliens. Who the heck knows? We do see that spaceship. We do see some aliens. I don't know, man. I, <laughs> I, I can't give my thoughts until I watch the movie, but this trailer just seems like, okay. You know what I mean? Like just okay. I, I I'm excited for it, but at the same time, I'm not like, hyped you know what i mean like i'm not hype hype for it 
Uh, so yeah, pretty generic looking trailer. That's it for me, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. What, let me know. Is this going to be a plot with aliens? What the heck are they trying to do here? You let me know because I, I can't seem to make sense of like everything, but I, I, I have a good idea of what they're trying to set up here, but um, I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Please like, please share, and please subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 700, guys. We're only like a month. I don't know. Let's just say a month away, and we'll probably have like 700, which is pretty huge. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone who's been subscribing. God bless and peace out. I'll be back with more cartoon news and shenanigans tomorrow or Monday to Friday usually. The end. Bye-bye. Peace out.